So today we are going to draw an apple. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, I already know how to draw an apple. Let's go. Here we go. Um, we go like this, and they've got some little like bumpy things down here, and it goes in a little here, and stem. Maybe I'll draw a leaf on it, you know, add some detail. Boom, apple. Why this does look like an apple. We are not drawing cartoon apples or apples from our heads for this one. We are actually going to look at an actual apple and try to draw that apple as realistically as we can. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit what I'm thinking when I'm looking at this apple and trying to draw it. The first thing is when I'm drawing something from real life, I'm making sure that I'm always looking at the object. I can look at my paper too, but I'm glancing back and forth between the two, and I'm mostly looking at the object itself, not what's on my paper. Because you can't draw something realistically with detail without looking at it first. So I'm going to look at that apple, and I'm going to figure out what the basic shape of that apple is. So I'm looking at it, and I see, I think it's pretty round. And I notice here it looks a little flatter. It's not a perfect circle. So I am going to draw that lightly on my paper. And I want to think when I'm drawing it on my paper what size I want it to be. Because I want the apple to fill a good amount of what I have on my paper. I don't want it to look too big or too small. Because if I draw it too big, then when I go to add my shadow later, I won't have room to add my shadow. And if I draw it too small, it's just going to look out of place and it's going to look like everything else around it is so empty and bare. Or it might end up looking like a cherry. So I'm going to try to draw about the same size as the real apple actually. So I'm looking at the apple and I am very carefully and lightly drawing the outline of my apple. I'm pressing a little harder on here than I normally would because I want you to be able to see the line that I'm drawing. So I'm going very carefully and I'm looking at the apple right now. I glanced at my paper. I'm looking at the apple, looking at the apple, I glanced down at my paper. I'm looking at the apple, drawing those details. And as I'm drawing this line here, my eyes are following that line on the edge of this apple. So I'm still looking at the apple. I'm glancing at my paper, looking at the apple. I'm going to go over here. I'm looking at the apple at the same spot that I'm drawing. Glancing down at my paper. I'm looking at the apple in the same spot that I'm drawing it. Glancing down at my paper. Looking at the apple. And I'm looking where I'm drawing, looking at the apple, glancing down at my paper. And I have the outline of my apple. Now I'm going to look like an artist does and say, what's right about what I drew and what's not quite right about what I drew? So I'm looking at this and I think that this curve right here, I need to work on a little bit. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to erase right here. I'm going to draw it back in again. And I'm going to fix that. I'm looking at my apple. Looking at the apple to make sure I'm drawing it just the way I want it. And then I look with my artist eyes and I think this part right here comes out a little too far. And I want that to go in a little bit. So I'm going to erase over here and I'm going to fix it. Because I'm the artist and I can make changes and correct my mistakes. And make it look the way I want to make it look. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to fix that little edge there. Just barely changed it at all. You can hardly tell. But now I think it looks about right. So now I have the basic outline of my apple. But I still need to add some details because it doesn't look like an apple right now. Right now it looks kind of like a bumpy orange. So I'm going to look. And I notice there's this spot right here. I've got this little curve where the, where the stem comes out. And I have the stem to draw. So I'm going to very lightly, again, I'm going to press a little harder on here than I normally would because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. But I'm looking very closely at that, and I'm drawing the line to show where that curve in is. And then I'm going to draw that stem coming out. And I notice the stem comes kind of out of this part here. 
So I'm going to draw that stem coming out. And then when I'm looking at this apple, the stem actually looks like it's in front of this apple. It doesn't come above the apple at all. So I'm going to draw the stem so it comes to that same spot that I see there when I'm drawing it. So when I'm looking at it, I'm looking very closely at that stem. It kind of curves a little. At the top it gets a little bit bigger because there's some sort of bump on there. And then I'm going to go back down and it curves in. And the stem doesn't come above the top because on my picture the stem doesn't, or on my apple, the stem doesn't come above the top. So on my picture the stem doesn't come above the top. So now I have my apple drawn. And what you're going to do next is you're going to draw your apple three times because you're going to create three different pictures with shadows of your apple. So we'll continue that in the next time. But make sure that when you're drawing, you're looking at the object that you're drawing. You're being careful to see those details around there. And you're drawing it very carefully and lightly on your paper. If you want to, you can very, very lightly, because you don't want it to show when you go to paint it and color it later, you can draw it when there's, there's color changes. So I'm looking and I see that there's some light green around this part of the apple. I'm just kind of sketching in where that light green will be so when I go to paint it I can remember that. And there's a little light green right here. I see a little light green coming in from the back here. And some light green right coming around the corner here. And then I am done with my apple.